I've read these rules and regulations a million times. I missed you so much. You're my angel. You know, I've been here for two hours. What do you mean the flight's delayed? I don't care about seeing the tourists. Well, that was Big Ben in Europe. What's going on? Can someone tell us anything? around 8.30 this morning, Mr. President. And it's still happening. Contact General Monning at SOCOM. He's already been sent in, sir. Along with detachments from the 75th Ranger Regiment and the 24th STS. We've also contacted you, Sam Ridge. All units, I want every entrance and exit sealed. No one gets out. That means every damn tunnel, doorway, skyway, and jetway. <laughs> Major Hoffman, sir, there's been an attack on JFK. What's a chemical agent? Well, we don't really know, sir. The Army's dropping in men. But look, sir, the reports coming in are unbelievable. There's a chopper standing by right now to take you to New York. Okay, well, you hold down the Fort Roush. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. 
so I want to use gas only. Keep the casualties to a minimum. Yes, sir. Take us down. Gas detonated, General. Good. Standing by. Name and age? Listen to me, this, this is my fault. Name and age, ma'am? It doesn't matter what my damn name is. I was bitten by a wolf. I want you to calm down. Listen to me. My name is Donna Voorhees. I'm 28 years old. I, I was bitten. I know. I know everybody here was bitten. I want you to take this. It's going to keep your heart rate down. You can't do this! Get down! I'm an American citizen! I have rights! On the ground now! Get down or we will shoot you! Tag him, get him inside. Let's go, people. Keep it moving. Did they kill it? No, of course not. Now take this. Your right arm, please. This is your microchip. It's for your safety as well as ours. Now just hang in there. Next. Sweetheart. I'm sorry, I think the pills. I said up! 
Stand down. Are you okay? Right, come on, let's get you some place where you can lie down. I see you mistreating these patients again, Parkins, and I will have you court-martialed so fast your head will spin. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. We need to keep these people calm. Keep their heart rates down and keep everybody safe. Thank you, Captain. You okay? All right. Steady as she goes. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Look at that. So you're a dog lover too, huh? Well, I was. I have some mixed feelings now. Yeah. I'm a, a wildlife photographer. Oh, yeah? Mm. That's neat. What's your specialty? Well, uh, don't worry, because you're going to be back at it soon. We're going to get this thing under control, and we're going to get all you people here back to your lives, okay? Can you cure it? Well, to be honest with you, we're in the dark. I'm going to be lying to you if I said it wasn't going to take some time, but uh, the first thing we got to do is find out where it came from. Like, um, patient zero? That's exactly right. It was... Before uh, the the airport, the bite. You okay? Name and age, please. You can call me Susan if it makes you happy. Sir, we're just trying to help. Great. Then you can start with these damn restraints. Hammond. Carl Hammond. 33. Your arm. Please, Mr. Hammond. You get off on this, huh? Locking us up in here like animals experimenting on us. <laughs> I bet you're all excited, right? General, Major Hoffman to see you, sir. Thank you, Captain. General Monning, sir. Major Hoffman. It's been a while, sir. It has indeed. Still working with terrorists? I beg your pardon? Key suspect in the 2001 anthrax attacks was a USAMRID scientist, was he not, Major? That's right, sir, and I'm the one who reported him. You trusted a man with all the poison in that place, 
and people died. We can't have that here, you understand? Yes, sir. I trust my men with my life. You know why? They've earned it. Well, sir, maybe you could trust your men to use a little common sense when handling the contagious. They've been provoking you them. play football, Major? Sir? Junior year in high school. Our team finished dead last in the division. Our coach would come in after every game, slap us on the back and said, we'll get them next time. Next year in came this real mean son of a bitch. Kicked our ass every day. You know what happened? No, sir. We won the state title. You see, that coach understood the need for discipline. We're not talking about football players here. There are casualties. 236 of them. Another 150 in body bags. I'm hardly aware of that, sir. And are you aware of the capabilities of yes, these creatures? But... You know if one of them bites you in the arm, puts a saliva in you, you end up here. If it happens to tear out your throat or chomp down on an artery, you end up in the ground. I regret having to infringe on their civil liberties. I do. But our duty is to defend this nation and our citizens from all threats. And that is exactly my point, sir. The calmer we keep them, the better it is for everybody. I'll be sure to brief my men on the proper security procedures. That's my job. And you concentrate on your job. Fluffing pillows and... <clears throat> Changing bedpan. Yes, sir, and I'm also heading up the CDC search for a cure, and I'm reporting directly to the president. Well, you can oversee all you like. Just remember your rank here, Major. <laughs> Relax, Hoffman. We're in this together. I'd like to start with the airport, sir. If we're lucky, perhaps some of the surveillance cameras picked up the first one. Report. Oh, Where'd it go? All right. There's no bullets unless it's completely necessary. And remember, they're human beings. I said that's enough! There's a human being, remember? That man just killed four people. Remember that, Major. I could, I could help. You know, I, should, I should report you. Colonel Falcons, come in. Falcons here. Tell me you got it. We got it. Good man. Bring it downstairs. Right away. Who's there? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill him. I understand. Don't like it. I don't understand. Self-preservation. The instinct of every living organism on Earth. The computer, on the other hand, lacks instinct. And yet we rely on them to fight our wars. My point is, we depend too much on technology. Human error can be just as dangerous, sir. Oh, don't get me wrong, Falcons. There's a time and place for machines. But at the end of the day, it's boots on the ground that win wars. What do you want from me? I want you to serve your country, son. Bring him in. What in the hell is going on in here? Let's see how tough you are. Administer the serum. Oh. 
What's that for, sir? yourselves lucky, man. You're witnessing a new era. The most significant advance in warfare since the Predator drone. Put him down. Transmission occurs through saliva, not by blood. So anyone with a non-lethal bite wound becomes immediately infected. And as soon as their heart rate spikes, they become feral and lash out at anyone in their way. You believe there's a cure? Theoretically, we could synthesize one if we had antibodies to use as a blueprint. If we can find patient zero, they may have that blueprint. Excuse me, General. Could I uh, have a word with you, sir? Of course, Major. Uh, in private. Sure. I just saw a man in the corner of his office who had his throat torn out. That was Mr. Hammond's work, the man you chased down earlier. He attacked again, and we had to act. Both men were killed in the process. Well, I'd really like to see that surveillance tape. Of course, Major. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go down to the airport. With any luck, perhaps I can identify patient zero. Excuse me, Major Hoffman, Dr. Ellen Gordon, CDC. Yes, Would you please look for any signs of anxiety or erratic behavior among passengers in the security footage? That seems to be the primary indicator of an impending morphosis. Start in customs. Witnesses report seeing the first attacks there. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. General. We don't want to keep you from your work, Doctor. Yes, sir. See, Colonel, men like Hoffman, all they want is reassurance that we're all on the same side. Well, sir, are you sure we want a cure? It'll be produced on a mass scale. Only if this discovery got out. I'd be more than happy to keep Hoffman quiet. He's just doing his job. He just wants to understand the canine's origins and behavior. I want to see if they can track a target. I think this little excursion of his may present us all with an opportunity to get what we want. Like I said, cooperation. Major Hoffman, you sound right. Major Hoffman. Max Stevens, Director of Border Customs and Security at JFK. Won't you uh, come with me, please? Where else things got into the surveillance hub and destroyed the place, so security cameras are useless. But I got something better. These haven't even been made public yet. We're the first to install them after the buy. Check it out. Wow. Oh, yeah. That is incredible.
incredible. You can see every hair, every wrinkle, every detail. And this, this happened before the attack? Four and a half minutes before. Unfortunately, this was the next. See, the system only takes an image every five minutes, so by the time it took this one, the outbreak had already started. Every detail. Could you go back to the last image? Recognize her? Yeah, it's that wildlife photographer. Think there's any chance the camera survived? You kidding me? That's professional grade Japanese engineering. I think it's built for the field. It'll take a licking and keep on ticking. You have it? Yeah, I got it. Come on. SLR is a good camera. It has 10 times the resolution of most point and shoots, of course. Most people don't realize that. I can't tell you how many things get left behind when people try to make a flight. As if it's worth losing 2K on a laptop. It's like my own Fort Knox in here. Let's see. Photography. Ah, here we go. Ah, hardly a scratch. Thanks. Need another look? I got it. Then you have your mission. I get this done. You keep your word, right? Absolutely. Your family will be transferred from wards to a private facility. See that? That's the day before JFK. It happened before. Huh? Well, that's what she was trying to tell me. She got bitten before she got to the airport. General. Hoffman here. I think we found patient zero. My name's Donna Voorhees. Time to go to work. that God. 
General, Hoffman's still alive. Would you do me a favor and find out everything you can about Donna Voorhees? Where she came from, where she went, who she might have come in contact with. What are you looking for? Well, I need solid evidence that she was bitten before she walked into that terminal. Gotta make sure no one else was infected. You got it. All right. Thank you. Yeah, it's a black wolf. They're very rare, most common in North America. Uh, the result of domesticated dogs mating with feral wolves. Early Canadian settlers, they thought they were wolfmen. Okay, so we have this wildlife photographer. Right, so she goes to Canada, she takes a picture of a wolf. Obviously, she gets a little too close. Bites her. And she gets back on the plane, she travels back to New York, and ends up infecting the whole damn airport. I uploaded an image on the uh, system mainframe, if I'm right, it should be our girl. General, I put a call into the White House. Let's not jump the gun, Hoffman. Wait, wait, what? We need to get our facts lined up. If you're right about Voorhees, the President will be the first to know. But General, there's a... <laughs> I think it's time we called the White House and let them know that Major Hoffman can no longer be trusted. Mr. Taylor. Yes, sir. Get DOD on the line. Give me Secretary Woods. Right away, sir. Find this girl. Yes, sir. You kidding? They ain't never letting us out. They want to study us, make us turn canine. They want to tinker with us, and before you know it, they'll want to breed us. Risky play, General. Great risk yields great reward, Mr. Secretary. Our forces are overextended and underfunded. The potential edge these creatures provide could ensure our national security for decades. And the applications are limitless. I certainly hope you know what you're doing, Chris. Because if we lose control of this thing, we'll make smallpox. Look like a bad rash. We are taking every precaution. What about the CDC and you, Samrin? Dr. Gordon and her people are in line for now. But Major Hoffman, on the other hand, do we have the image yet? Yes, sir. We're putting it on screen now. Have you guys seen this woman? Perfect, Mr. Compassion. That way. Target located. Tranquilizers only. We need her alive.
Let's head north into the park. I want the whole place on lockdown. He's about 300 yards out in front of you. Get it into the tree. Take it around the back. We'll cut her off near the end. General. Patient Zero. Donna Borges. Four weeks ago, she chartered a plane from Vancouver to a remote part of the Kwani National Park in the Yukon. Twelve days ago, she flew in from Yellowknife. She passed through a full body scan in Toronto before she boarded Canadian Airline Flight 323 to JFK and landed at 8.05 a.m. Did you get anything off the body scan? No, I'm uh, checking and I'm waiting for it to upload. Her body underwent complete transformation. Skeletal system, organs, DNA, everything mutating into a canine form, at which point she began attacking those around her. Within 23 minutes, 236 people had been infected with the virus. What we've rendered here is a simulation of the antibody detecting, then attaching itself to the lupine antigen. This is what should happen. If the wolf host passed the antibodies into the subject, then the composition should be identical. This is what we actually observed from patient Zero's blood earlier this morning. She doesn't hold the antibodies. No, sir. We've been wasting our time. On the contrary, sir, she's invaluable for research, observation. What are you doing? Put her down. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. General, this is way she's out of line. She's a threat. Oh, that's right, Hoffman. You have trouble spotting threats. Perhaps we should let her live long enough to carry the virus out of this place like your Usamarid scientist did. This is different. She's an innocent civilian. I'm warning you to stand down. You have no authority here. No? What about the President of the United States? You're only making things worse for yourself, Major. The White House is not going to listen to someone they believe to be infected. I told them you contracted the virus while searching the airport. What is wrong with you? General, please listen to me. You don't want to do this. She is our only connection to the Wolf Host. Believe me, we need her alive. General Monning. What is it? There's a Max Stevens outside from JFK. Says he needs to speak to Major Hoffman. You know this man? Yeah, I do. Then bring him in. It ain't right. Rounding us up in this prison.
treating us like a bunch of damn lab rats? No one's gonna help us. We have to take matters into our own hands. We outnumber them 10 to 1. It's time we do something. What is it? Ah. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> it's her. Uh, Major Hoffman had me do some uh, leg work on Miss Vores, and, uh, well, I, I got something better. I have a full body scan of Miss Vores from Toronto. May I? Yeah. Okay. She's got the host DNA inside of her. A tooth? A tooth from the host could contain the antibodies. She's bradycardic. Don't touch her. You're crazy. Curable lupine won't be a threat. You want to use those things as weapons? Can you imagine training them? The heightened senses? and strength of the animal, the intellect of a man. We need a cure, yes, but locked in a vault in the Pentagon so that our enemies can't use it against us. Sit down, Mr. Stevens. We don't need her. You turn those creatures loose on the battlefield and that virus will spread around the globe like wildfire. Anybody who's attacked will carry the virus out with them. Not if each bite carries with it a neurotoxin, an injected neurotoxin that only our wolves are immune to. You're gonna make them more deadly. You can't just let her die. She'll talk. She'll talk to us. We need to confirm the link. We could be wrong about the tooth. Just like we were wrong about the antibodies being in her blood. General, please listen to me. She's our only connection to the host. She can tell us where she last saw it, where it lives. If you kill her, we'll have absolutely nothing. Go ahead. She's not breathing. Give me one milligram of epinephrine. She's V-fib. I'm gonna have to shock her. Clear. Clear. Get the tooth. Now. I have to cut into her arm. The tooth is lodged beneath her tendons. Then do it. Let's go. Take care of you. 
now. Rolling priority one containment. Mayday, mayday. This is an emergency broadcast from Ward's Island. Patients have breached the compound and are infiltrating Manhattan. They've taken canine form and considered extremely dangerous. I don't care how bad this sucks. We've got an IPO bake off on Friday and I need you on this pitch. One more complaint out of you and you can. Hey, Jerry, you there? Got it. <clears throat> Mr. President? We need to get you to a secure location. We've lost containment on Words Island. What happened? Canines have escaped, sir. They're sweeping south into Manhattan. No, sir. No, that's not true. He only wants you to think we're infected to keep us out of the way. Now, look, you have to trust me on this. Look, sir, he has taken matters completely into his own hands. No, Mr. President, no, sir. Don, with all due respect, I will not turn myself in. He just hung up on the president. Yeah, well, New York City's being torn apart as we speak. I can't just sit around and do nothing. Okay, Donna, Donna, come here. I want you to keep this on. It's going to monitor your pulse. Whatever you do, don't let it go above 150. Okay, look, we'll explain all this to you later, okay? Monica's probably got a hit squad on the way as we speak. We've got to get off this island now, all right? the cure in your arm and if the general has his way about it no one will ever know it exists okay look we gotta get off this island and get that tooth out of your arm all right now stay low and go no have a unit sent to wards tell them to arrest major hoffman and dr gordon on site yes mr president Spreading south through Manhattan, heading right towards Central Park. We've contacted the Secretary of Defense. They're prepared to shut down the bridges and quarantine the city. Good work, Sims. What about the tracking systems? We're loading up their GPS signal. I'll let you know when it's up and running. The wolves are gonna tear the city apart trying to find a way out. Our people aren't gonna let that happen. This is all my fault. If I'd have just come clean in the beginning, none of this would have happened. It's okay. Like hell it is, people are dying. Get this thing out of my arm. I will. You got a secure place in mind? The university, it'll have everything I need. So how the hell are we gonna get there? One of those. Isn't this electric? Well, stand back. Now what? We zip line.
Okay, well, here goes nothing. Relax, Ranger. I don't think I can do this. You'll be fine, as long as you're not connected to the ground. Oh, boy. Just do what I do. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? I'll be fine. Great, she photographs killer wolves. She bungee jumps. Anything else you want to tell us about yourself? Down the fences at the northwest corner. Now! Yes, sir. Cut power to zone two now. You okay? Yeah! We got company! Marine craft on my starboard side. Cut your engines, repeat, cut your engines, and prepare to be boarded. Move up next to them! President of Manhattan's quarantine, but the canines are still spreading across the island. There's the gas ineffective now when it worked at JFK. JFK was an enclosed environment, sir. They're out in the open now. Mr. President, they're moving into Central Park. We need to give our troops an answer. We have a go. Lethal force has been authorized. Talk to me. We lost her, sir. West of Roosevelt Island. Now don't worry. I've got her. I'm on my way. Sir, we just received authorization from the president. It's about time. Light him up! south of the trees coming right at you. before we get to the university? Oh, uh, about 15 minutes from here. We don't have that much time. Can I ask you a question? Why did that wolf bite you? I saw your pictures of the black wolf, but why did it bite you? You ever look a predator in the eyes? It's a matter of fact, I have. I guess I wanted to know how close I could get. Well, you got about as close as you can, because now you are one with him. Literally. I gotta get us a ride. Get out! Go! We have official 
the pack, headed south on 5th, just below us. Permission to engage. Copy that. Permission granted. West 37th, headed towards Broadway. Okay, Brian, you gotta start talking to me. What did you mean when you said that our guys wouldn't let the wolves pass the city boundaries? After JFK, the powers of B decided that if the virus ever spread into a populated area, there would be too great a risk. So they put an operation in place to eradicate it. Well, how? You can't be serious. Go, go! How did they find us? The chip. What chip? The tracking chip in your arm. Every patient got one. I'm gonna try to lose him. And the doctor. No. Come in, General. Go ahead, Colonel. We got the girls. Sir, and the doctor. Up and stand. Get them back to wards. Yes, sir. Colonel Falcons, make it quick. The city doesn't have much longer. Canines have made their way south into southern Manhattan. It's only a matter of time before they make their way off the island. The 1918 influenza pandemic killed an estimated 90 million people in just over a year. Now, if we do not contain this lupine virus, it could infect the entire United States within 72 hours. Within two weeks, the entire western hemisphere. You're talking about one of the greatest cities in the world, killing almost two million people. The citizens, just... Just wiping them out? Sir, if we don't act, this virus could wipe out the entire human race. And without a cure, eradication is our only option. Sir, the operation would be quick and efficient. We take out all the bridges and tunnels surrounding the city, effectively sealing it off. Then deliver the payload. A series of fuel air explosives detonated over the island. Sir, if we're going to act, now's the time. Heavy. 
is the head that wears the crown. I pray that the souls of these brave Americans be at peace, and that history bear the necessity of this gravest obligation. Do it. Zero. You've led us on a merry chase. Time to get that tooth. I'm gonna make it my personal mission to see to it that you are charged with everything you deserve, Mining. Mutiny, torture, murder. History will remember you as nothing more than a common thug with a gun. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for the country I've sworn to protect. There won't be a country to protect! If the pack breaks the city boundaries, the, the infection will spread out of control. There will be no stopping it. They won't get out of the city. I promise you. The antibodies, Doctor. You've got five minutes. Ares Command, Razorback. City Hall has been overrun and the canines are heading for Brooklyn Bridge.
How long for the antibodies to react to the virus? Recognition varies depending on the virus. We've never done anything like this before. Exploded, sir. Start shooting. Kill us and you'll never find it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, Marnie. All right. You want the cure, you got it. Just let the women go. You first, Hoffman. Morning. Dog food. We still got the tooth. Got it. All right. Let's get off this damn island, huh?
Command Stallion is rolling. and replicate the cure. Can you fly? Well, it's been a while, but I think we should be okay. Sit down. Hold tight. Stallion 1, IP reached, commencing bomb run. T minus six minutes. license revoked.
There's the man, this is Stallion 1, commencing weapons check. Okay. Let them know. Let let everyone know I'm, I'm sorry I didn't. I'm sorry too, Donna. We have to go. Heavy combat, Bravo. Lock. Firing. Oh my god. We're too late. We're just taking out the bridges. We can still save the city. We just have to let them know we have the cure. We gotta go now. Support. He's about 6-4. Good copy, Valkyrie. Proceed to target Whiskey India. Wood Diamond Bridge blocked. Firing. I've got the tooth. Let's go. <gasps> target Romeo Foxtrot Kilo. Command, this is Stallion 1. We are weapons hot. Stallion 2, weapons hot. Stay down, Doctor. Hello, Northcom, come in. Identify yourself. This is Major Brian Hoffman, calling you from Wards Island. I have an EAM of the President of the United States. I repeat, I have a vital message for the President. We need to abort the mission. 60 seconds to drop. I have the antibodies for the Lupine virus. We need to call off the bombing now! Out of the way! Coming through! Get out of the way! Sir, we have an authentic emergency action message coming through Northcom. We'll patch it through. Ramp down. 30 seconds to drop. Identify yourself. It's Hoffman, sir. We have the cure to lupine in our possession. Brian, where are you? I'm on RFK Bridge. We have the cure to the virus. Over. 20, 19, 18. How do I know you're not just trying to save your own ass? You know me well enough to know that I'd give my life to stop a contagion. Mr. President, please. We scraped the antibodies from the canine tooth that we dug out of patient Zero's arm. You lose us and you lose the cure. Five seconds, sir. Three, two, one. Abort. Damn, I already dropped it! Package released. Impact in one, three seconds. Stallions one and two return to base. No contagious made it off the island. How bad is it? Well, the eastern part of the island was hit, but it was already evacuated, sir. We expect minimal casualties, sir. 
How about Hoffman and Gordon? It's been a hell of a day.